finally got a little block on it and Henry Shefflin was following through on that and the uh, referee has spotted it and I think there could be a yellow card here see this is Michael Finley got booked a few minutes ago for the same thing he, you know when someone has gone for possession the ball is loose you go to flick it away and it's a you know it's a tough call just because your man gets a knock in the hand like if you look at it again the ball was there Henry was going for the ball in my opinion and I don't think it's a yellow card maybe a free well he's uh, he's got himself a yellow card for that went for it not a yellow card in my book Four yellow cards now I make it against Kilkenny players as that free is hit and struck over the bar. And the man who struck it there, Richie Foley, who was the free taker for most of the Alliance League. So 2-17 to 1-12. And Kilkenny are now making a change and coming into the action once again is Eddie Brennan. He was on as a blood sub earlier on. And the player going off will be Michael Rice. David Herity taking the puck out. Batted back once again by Richie Foley. Seamus Prendergast slipping it forward to John Milan. And Milan, quick as you like, puts it over. That's a goal and four now for John Milan. Hit that beautifully here. I think pretty much oblivious to what was going on about him, notching up another very fine score. And the crowd from Waterford just urging their side to get a little closer. In points, it's 23-16. Malumphy has it. Just over eight minutes to play of the 70. Waterford on the sideline, the mentor saying, should be definitely a Waterford ball, and the linesman concurs. Linesman today on this near side, John Sexton. And credit to Waterford, they haven't given up. They're just back to seven points. If they could get a goal, you know, I'm not saying they're going to win the game, but they haven't given up. They've kept going. And as you said earlier, they missed a lot of chances. They missed a lot of chances in the second half, in particular. Again, it's Richie Foley. Little hand pass slipped inside here to John Milan. Well, John Milan has another chance, and he's got another score. One five for John Milan. One man who never gives up. Eight minutes to go at Croke Park in the first of the All Ireland semi finals. As you were at half time now, six points the margin. Yeah, he's given Brian Hogan a thorough time and having a fantastic game. From the puck out, let's see who's got to win this. Richie Power has gone over there towards right half forward. It's won by Waterford again, and Michael Brick Welch sending it beyond. Same as Prendergast this time, Get taken by Tommy Welch instead three Waterford players there to collect it one of them is Jamie Nagel towards Kevin Moran breaking it down only towards Brian Rick Walsh eventually or originally rather and now Morris Shanahan and Morris Shanahan has got another one this is some recovery by the men from the Dacia should have been cleared out by Brian Hogan but it came to Morris Shanahan and Shanahan fired it over the bar and now it's a five-point game. Waterford fans are not giving up on this one. Kilkenny need to get motoring again. And it's Waterford who have it once again in the middle of the park. And it's that man, John Milan, looking up, trying to see who's making the runs for him. It's Ryan this time. Back, Richie Foley, dropping it and under hitting it and David Herity gets it away down the field a good 80 metres down towards Richie Hogan man who got two goals in the first half nothing in the second a real scramble for it Michael Brick Walsh in there so too Jamie Nagel comes out in the end here Colin Fennelly slipping the little hand pass to his brother Michael little block on it and Michael Brick Walsh gets it away down the field again over Brian Hogan's head. He's helped out this time by the strongly built Jackie Turrell. On it goes here as far as Paddy Hogan for Kilkenny, hitting it and hitting it over the bar. Paddy Hogan. And that's the point that Kilkenny needed just to soothe the nerves a little bit. They did indeed, Joe. And he's looking, Paddy Hogan is looking at it over the bar because Henry Shefton was. In, he was free inside, he was no within 50 yards of him and he was shouting for the pass and didn't get it. 
Declan Prendergast did for Waterford, and again it's David Herity who's had a very busy second half. Out as far as Brian Hogan. Clever use of possession, straight to Henry Sheffield, that was precise. Taking on Michael Breck Welch. Henry still lets it run away from him, and that was enough there. Colin Fennelly, back it comes once again, Eddie Brennan this time, and Eddie Brennan has hit it wide, he's protesting. He's convinced it was over the bar, shaking the head there. Put it up, he's saying, put up the white flag. It's not going to count. Six between them. Five minutes to go at Croke Park. Jackie Turrell back, sweeping inside his own 45-metre line. Down towards Eddie Brennan, breaking it here towards Colin Fennelly. Kilkenny would love another score here to try and round off this tie. Back it comes towards Richie Power, blocked down. Still they chase after it. Good play, gutsy play, Jamie Nagel. Full credit to Waterford for their battling qualities. Paul Murphy does well, gets it away. Spots an unplugged Mark Fair outside, Henry Shefflin trying to deliver it in towards Eddie Brennan. Here's Liam Lawler. Spoons it forward into the middle here as far as Richie Foley, stopped in his tracks. And still they battle for it. Returned by Paddy Hogan, point scorer just a moment ago. Eddie Brennan back outside towards Henry Shefflin. Late in the game, Henry Shefflin again precisely inside to Brennan. Inside the 45-minute line, high up into the air. Is it sufficiently accurate? Not quite. Another wide, and it stays. With 13 wides for Kilkenny, Kilkenny ahead by 218 to 115. 24 to 18 in points. Henry Shefflin now, again, Spot on with the delivery, down as far as Eddie Brennan. That was brisk, that was neat, and that was accurate by Eddie Brennan. Announcing his arrival. First point since coming on. So seven points the margin. And is that now enough for Kilkenny? And to see Kilkenny through to the 2011 All-Ireland hurling final. Well, interesting during the last couple of minutes when they needed it to really up the pace again and, you know, knocked over a couple of great points. This is Paddy Hogan with the effort. I think he probably said to himself, if I did it once, I could probably do it again. Well, it's actually not. It's, it's Richie, Richie yeah, it's Richie. He's gone out to field as a kind of a third midfielder now and left Eddie Brennan inside. Shade O'Sullivan on his hands and knees there. It's Richie Hogan picking this one up. Back out as far as Richie Power. Swinging it off his left. Well, I think at this stage they'll be happy enough to keep the pressure down there and keep the Waterford goalkeeper pucking the ball out with time ebbing away, two and a half minutes of the 70 to play. That's missed by Jackie Turrell, it's gained and won by Morris Shanahan. Back out again towards Milan. And Milan continues his perfect rate of accuracy, he's got a goal and six points now. And they've all been from play. What a performance, but is he to finish on a losing team this afternoon? The marking was very slack. Six points between them. Tommy Welch drives it down the field, slipped as he was hitting it away to Jamie Nagel. Final few minutes. Waterford would need a goal to maintain the level of interest in the last part of this game. Kevin Moran can't take it up, however. It's Tommy Welch instead. Out it comes as far as Richie Hogan. Huge one down. Waterford have a man over there. It's Noel Connors. Couldn't get to it. It gets to Liam Lawler instead. Now Richie Foley again firing it back in there. 20 metres out. Jackie Tyrrell going up, taking it. Very commanding figure. David Herity. Big one down towards Henry Shefflin. He's usually the man they look to when they're in any degree of difficulty. Stephen Malumphy slipped back in again. Michael Welch. Brilliantly taken by Paul Murphy. So good in the air. Careful with possession as well. Colin Fennelly drifting away from corner forward. Back out around the half line at this stage. One man left down there, that's Eddie Brennan. Kind of a strange situation with Kilkenny now, just drifting back, making sure they have plenty of bodies back in case there's any late chance of a goal for Waterford. Waterford still pressing. Kevin Moran trying to get it up, loses it. JJ Delaney instead, slipped back out to Richie Hogan. Back out it comes here to his brother Paddy. 
and the Hogans combined, but there's a no end product there. Yeah, and just, the last no, minute. I said it earlier on, but some of the distribution into the forwards has been you know, very wayward by Kilkenny today. Just not looking up at all, just driving everything up into the air. They just still score 219, which is a great score, but um, you know, I think they'll have to really sharpen up for the for the All Ireland final uh, if they're going to win it because they're wasting an awful lot of possession. Nine points so far for Kilkenny in this second half. Colin Fennelly lobbing it in towards Eddie Brennan, but he's lost it. Waterford coming again, but that's easily taken and repelled by Jackie Turtle, helped out by Richie Hogan. And the team's now more or less playing out the final minutes of this. Tony Brown, final possession there for him. Clinton Hennessy giving it back to him, and you wonder at the age of 38 whether we'll see the great man Tony Brown back in the championship action when it comes to 2011. What a player he's been. Richie Hogan across towards Henry Shefflin. Shefflin on the sideline. Keeper missed it. So too did Eddie Brennan. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see Tony Brown again or not sure he's been around so long, but what a player over the years. And uh, again today, held his own very little off. Liam Lawler, a great game at fullback as well. And, uh, you know, Waterford really have to take their chances early in the second half to be an awful lot closer. As Paul Murphy fires this one away. Kilkenny with 44 scoring chances in this match. They've taken 21. Waterford with 33 scoring chances. They've taken 17. And the referee blows the final whistle and Kilkenny are the first team through to the All-Ireland Hurling Final on a day when Tony Brown probably plays for the final time in the championship for Waterford. The great man, now 38 years of age, battled his heart out, as indeed did Henry Shefflin, who finished with uh, seven points in this match. Waterford gamely battled all through and in John Milan they had a real hero he got a goal and six but it wasn't quite good enough and Kilkenny are through to the All-Ireland final where they will face either Tipperary or Dublin disappointment for Davy Fitzgerald but a day when the job well done by Brian Cody there'll be areas he'll want to improve on no doubt Milan will rue the missed opportunities that his side had in particular in the second half but they have uh, finished here at Croke Park, losing the time.